Be water, my friend. Hey Tarquin, we're back to our next step. So what is our next step? We're waiting for our aluminium plate to turn up, which it has. I had a bit of a result on that. I was prepared. I went online to buy an aluminium plate which fitted our leaky gearbox uprighted, which it shouldn't be plate mating plate because I've just got a piece of MDF at the moment for testing purposes. So I was going to go ahead and buy a piece of plate for that size and it was coming out to over a hundred pounds for that for a 20 mil plate of 30, 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters a square plate. But it just so happens as I was looking on eBay this guy had an off cut piece in his garage which is 600 by 400 I think it is which I've got here on the floor and I think I won it with postage for like £43 so I'm having a bit of good luck thankfully now with hopefully the coupler is going to be good and the aluminium plate. So let's see what I'm going to go on and do next. So moving on I'm going to use this because of the bolts on the leaf gearbox you can't get to another side to punch them through to make indentations. <laughs> I'm going to use this as my template. So the leaf, so my coupler is roughly situated there. So all I'm going to do, I've got a tank cutter. I'm going to cut that hole out. It will give me my approximate center. This doesn't have to be exact, this one. I just want this one. This one's going to be mated. My, this is going to give me my hole fixings, which I'm going to tap through. To give me my mating for the gearbox on the other end. So I'm going to drill a hole there, which is roughly where the coupler sits. It's, I think it sits there in the middle. I'll, I'll double check it before I start uh, drilling all these holes out. So I'm going to cut a hole out there. We'll do, I'll do that in a minute, I'll come back. And then I'm going to get my aluminium plate, sit it on top. Then what I'm going to do, I've got some drift punches, which are center punches, but of various size. I'll show you the kit I've got. Get one that's a very nice fit within the hole and it's got a point on it and you just tap it and it will give you your dead center of the hole. So what I'll probably do is, once I've got that set up, I might just tap a couple through first and then drill them to make sure they're exact and then I can just, then I can move on. Because I suppose once they're drilled and if I bolt the plate to this, they'll give me the exact term um, in case any of them decide to move. So it's probably best if I do one first, drill it and tap it and bolt it. The hole's been bored out there where uh, I've removed the gearbox off the top of the leaf motor. I'm going to use this as a template only. It's all it's been used for this, for the so I've put one of the locating dowels back in there. It's actually quite a good idea, I think, if we can get it to work, because I suppose it stops like the shearing force. So if you drill the holes a bit big, obviously if I can get the locating dowel centered first on the aluminium plate, then that should help with some of the shearing action. You can see the coupler there. I might even go a bit bigger than that if I've got a hole saw bigger than that, actually. It might be ideal to go bigger than that. Or that the drill did struggle drilling this. That's pretty much spot on there, I'm happy with that. So there is my aluminium plate that I got at Bargain Price. It's 20 mil thick, it's pretty much the same as the MDF that I've got down there. That's a close fit that is. I mean I have left overhang on the wood but it pretty much is edge to edge on there. I'm just gonna go ahead I think and attempt to drill with a hole saw into the middle of that. I might put some oil on it to act as cutting and cooling. And then I think what I'm going to do, I might offer the gearbox on top of it to get an orientation of the top and bottom because then I need to size up where the orientate with that because otherwise the motor will be off. The top won't line up with the top of that which won't matter but if I now want to attempt to pick up any engine mounts for the motor which will need supporting in the engine bay then ideally if it's sitting square in the engines upright then that's a bonus mate so what we're going to do here Chris now then is uh, we're going to drill the hole plan A is drill the hole if that doesn't work I've got some aluminium I've gone ahead and bought some aluminium angle grinder discs I've been told this is the correct way to do it rather than um, so these should be aluminium ones here I'm not sure it says aluminium there I'm going to go ahead, oh look, cup of tea. I'm going to go ahead and drill that, I think, and we'll come back. So if it doesn't look round, I've obviously given up with the saw. If the drill doesn't catch fire, and I'm going to go with the grinder. So see you back in a minute. You can see by the shape of the hole that the uh, drill didn't work. Yeah, the pilot bit snapped off as I was going through. I mean, that is quite thick, substantial metal at the end of the day. 
although it is quite a messy job and I just use a jigsaw to clean the corners up a little bit so I've, that's the whole pilot hole through I think what I'm going to do now is is offer the gearbox up onto the plate I want to draw around it and mark top of the gearbox because I want to get the orientation correct with the motor so let's get the gearbox on top and draw around it and see how we get on with that so Peter, we've drawn around, the, I've put the gearbox on its on top of the plate there. I've tried to position it as centre as possible with the drive shaft, the input shaft of the gearbox. I put centre bottom on the bottom of the gearbox. So lift this off and then that will give me my rough outline of the gearbox. So obviously that's the positioning of the lid. So I can go ahead. Obviously this will be the last one that side yeah so that will be one fix in there and I've got one up here somewhere as well on the top that will be the last fix in bottom side of the gearbox is pretty much level there isn't it so I'm gonna put a, a line across there and do the same I'm gonna write BC there before Christ gearbox so that's bottom center again so hopefully if I can line those two lines up when it all bolts together that part's not so crucial it's more I want to get the orientation for this first really because obviously I'll have adjustment so Jeffrey what I've done I've obviously got my centre and this is the bottom I know I've put centre there but it's not really the centre's more centre of the hole obviously I don't know why I've marked it there so as long as I've got that parallel with this, I know it should be flipped over the other way, it should be on the back side of this, but these are all just guidelines. So I want to make sure I can get it all on the plate really. So these are the drift punches I was talking about previously. So this is a metric set. So what it is with these is you find, this is to find the dead centre of the holes. So you, you get the one which is pretty much exact for the hole, pop it in, then you give it a tap and obviously these have got a point on the front of them and it should give you the centre of the hole thinking is drill the first one drop that in the hole then maybe drill a second one opposite end and just drop it in the hole and then hopefully it won't move then I can go ahead and centre punch all the the holes so let's, I'm going to punch that on first I think in there I'm going to commit myself going to go ahead and tap that down I think and that should so that's my hole there well that's my mark for my first drill point there so I'm going to go ahead and drill that okay Tarquin so what we've done I've drilled all the holes and I've literally just slipped the bolts in the holes now so all the holes line up nicely so that's all my fixing holes this one's out of the range there I think so that one's not going to be in the included unfortunately but so there's plenty of fixings on there you can see so this plate is going to be fixed directly to the 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 can you see it the uh then I think what I can do is as this is not bolted down yet this has got locating dowels as well on the uh so what I can do as a tryout is take that out this isn't bolted to the motor yet so I can take that off and there's no reason why I can't bolt the plate just to this just to make sure everything lines up okay Chris so what we've done or what I did so I've bolted the plate to the of the gearbox that's in the amount it which isn't not that isn't bolted yet this part of the part of the gearbox to the motor yet but I've bolted my adapter plate onto my gearbox half I had to elongate probably two or three holes because they didn't exactly line up if you're gonna do this I would re I bought a metric uh, drift set because these are metric bolts but the holes had a bit of slop in them so that's probably the reason why they weren't exact exact the thing I did notice was that guide pin that was an exact fit with the drift pin and I was well impressed with that so I think if you're going to do this, it's probably wise to get both sets, get a metric and an imperial set. 
because I think what I'm going to do if my drift pins don't fit more or less exact on the holes go ahead and get a cheap set of imperial ones so I've got them exact because you don't want to be messing around too much but this plate is bolted rigid now that's there's no movement in there at all now I've only done these up hand tight they're not really super tight because I'm going to probably take it all apart again anyway because I'm going to have to I'm going to try and cut this down as best as I possibly can and also some of these bolts may interfere with the BMW gearbox when it sits on top so that's the plate now mounted to the half of the gearbox there's my adapter coupler that's going to sit on there 